All right, here we are, having just spoken with Gaia. And the one other thing that was an assumption in all of the math that was just laid out, which Dustin was told there would be none of, is the amount of time the signal went took to t travel from Sirius to Earth at 8.611 light years. It assumes the communication travels at the speed of light, which in modern terms here colloquially for us would be tr you know, using laser pinpoint communications. Um, television shows like The Expanse use this to great effect logically and scientifically in their narrative. But what that means is that the signal has to be pinpoint. It has to be Remember to clonk that follow button. directly at Earth from Sirius the whole time. And the one thing that sticks out to me in that is, you mean to tell me that another celestial body never interrupted that? And I'm not saying that would have caused a problem, but it goes off that assumption that it could not have been transmitted by any other means. It had to be direct point-to-point -point laser communications or something else that facilitates at the speed of light communications. Rocket says, I hope when they get back to the information dump, I hope they go back to the information dump while being able to move like they did in Zero Dawn while, while talking to Silence. I, I like the long conversations with info, but standing still to get it pushes even my patience at times. I get that. Um, I think that's the big one, right? That's the big exposition dump in the entire game, though. Um, there will be conversations with Gaia that are of length, but nowhere near what we just went through. Um, and I do agree that there were there was a better pacing to it in the way that they were able to do it with Silence and Zero Dawn, but I think it's also just a necessary part of the mechanics they've set up here. They, they can't compromise that into, like, Gaia in your ear the whole time while you're moving through the land. You wouldn't pay attention to it. You know, you would be fighting things and, oh, look, there's a squirrel over there. So uh, I think they how important the data was. They had to stop you and say, this is... A lot, but it's important and it shapes everything about what you're about to do. Um, in many respects, there was an exposition dump like that in the at the end of Mass Effect, where you finally realize what's going on. You have that jaw drop moment. It's very much like that. But I get it. I get the crit I get the critique, and it's fair. I just don't know of another way they could have done it reasonably. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. We're going to continue to push forward. We actually could go to... We have this question now of the roots that bind over in uh, Riverhim, which may be worth getting off the, the map now, but there is the question of what lays. We have no idea what is out here. As we walk, if we walk out the west gate, we don't we don't know. So we could go to Riverham, which I believe is up here, and knock out that quest, or we can proceed to go after Aether. And I'm a little conflicted as to which one to do, because going after Aether will push the main quest. I think we're going to go to Riverham and make our journey up there. What are you saying dove for? Well, let's talk to these guys first. They said they're waiting outside the west door because something. Sure? Yes, I think it'll be better this way. Are you sure about what, Zoe? After you, Aloy. I need to head further west to, um, get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm going to go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies... Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. 
While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. All right. So we are going to do one thing here that will facilitate us expediting what's going on at Riverham. Whoa. Clan lands. Somewhere out Thanks, there PlayStation. Of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. But we need to have a look around up here because we need to go up there. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. A fair amount. I do love the snowy environments in Horizon. I love the, the frozen wilds. I love the mountains here. I love the mountains to the north. Always have enjoyed the cold places. That is climbable, it seems. Those of you who have played the game before and finished it should recognize what I'm doing. But please don't spoil it. Sigh. Good day, my friend. How are you doing today? Yeah, I saw you playing on December last night. You seem to be really enjoying it. I'm glad of that. It's always great when a person finds a game they truly enjoy. Which is this for me. Hello there. Understand that side. This game is so good. Its predecessor is so good. Let's go see what we can do about the people of Riverwing. In the standard playthrough, you cannot do this yet. <clears throat> but in NG Plus, you can. They're not happy that I stole one of their friends. So you can see Plain Song, they're out in front of us now. Are they still following us? No. So let's get us marked here for where we're going. We're gonna go up there and see if we can do uh, some good for the people of River Him before we progress west. And the reason I'm doing it this way is just to facilitate us getting there faster because it is a little bit of a backtrack. And it gives us the option moving forward should we need it. But the ability to override a Sunwing is very deep into the main story 
a specific cauldron you have to go into. And it does it does break the game in some ways, being able to fly over everything. Like that right there is the hunting ground. Which I completed in the previous playthrough, so I'm not in a hurry to do here because there's no further reward for it. But we are close enough to the ground now that they're trying to make us mark backwards. Do-do-do. How come it remark? Yeah, it changed it on us. Don't change it on us. Just leave us there. Thank you. All right, so we're out of the winter weather here and into some rainy area. And rolling up on River Him. You can see up there is actually a perch designed for our... Uh oh. So remember, River him is having trouble with rebels. We've evidently found it. you there. Smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand the only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, uh, your warrior scene. Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. That's all I can do to keep them alive. But I need to loot these bodies. I'll be right with you. The rebels have sent me scouts. At the same time, we're no longer in the mountains, so we're going to get out of this warm clothing we're in. Mm -hmm. That seems better. And for those of you that know it, yes, that is Ross look. Um, let's heal. Make sure we've got enough. All right. Now let's go talk to Q. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault, and if they bring machines with them. We'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja Raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now.
We may speak freely here. All right. You have a workbench here, or is it just this? Well, let's start here. What's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for Oops. my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe... You can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people. But you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls... It looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The Wide Maws sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. What exactly do you do around here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. What makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. Well, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. <laughs> there's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those pods and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? 
I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. All right. Well, there will be combat involved here, and this is not a combat outfit, so let's put back on our normal. Didn't come up here at night the first time. Interesting. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. Ah, uh, yes. I need to find a way up there. Well, we just fly up there, because that would be cheating. Right, those are not scalable. Finding the path up. That looks like it. <clears throat> Alright, so we have to get some canisters which wide maws drop in order to help these people. This is not the way. Curious, which is why I'm going back here. That is not scalable. So we'll continue pushing forward on this climb, which we seem to have taken an alternate path on. <clears throat> Drop this ladder. You think that given the difficulty of this, they'd leave this lowered, but they didn't. Awesome. I didn't let go, but it let go for me. Never pressed the button to let go. But thankfully, now we have this path up. Heck of a jump.
Alright, let's see where they want us to go. top Made it. yeah the cave's a tricky climb for sure rocket um, the first time through was a lot of looking around for yellow lines all right so now to the wide maws and locating their pods without upsetting them which means we need to be very careful about the watchers here. That guy over there is a problem. A lot of them here. We gotta do this very quietly. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Just pick them up once they fall to the ground. I can acquire enough. I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. That was a nice shot. I like that one. Remember to clonk that follow button. We need him to go back to being super docile guy. Don't be there. Go back about your business, man. How many of these do we need? Six. Thought I got two, but okay. that one. Oh, we need to make another pass here or we need to find another one because that water is slowing us down. We need to make his loop again. About when he makes his turn there. And when we three, two. Indeed. Uh, 
What I find interesting is that among the game's outfits, the Utaru Winter Weave is actually the best statistically for stealth. Not a Nora outfit. Or there is no comparison. The Utaru Winter Weave is just that much better. But stealth, while well, it's what I like to do, is not always my first option. So that's why we wear the Thunder Warrior, because it's just better all around for marksmen. I did that much more efficiently the second time around than I did the first time. The wide Maw never knew I was there. Sorry for sleeping there. I can make my way back to Riverham from here. That's been the plan the whole time, Aloy. See if we can help the people of Riverham defend themselves against Regala's rebels. And the reason I wanted to do this before I pushed west is because I want to push the rebel narrative west as well. Kind of get everything over the mountains. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? When this is over, I'll make sure we find his seeds and plant them in the grove. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Still not hitting them, huh? Alright, well, we're gonna have to fight him with the small bow then. Miss with that one. These young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, 
We owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. It's nowhere near as good as what we've got, so... Let's go pick up the pieces here. River him looks safe now, and we will proceed back to where we were in the west and then proceed on foot from there. Yes, the same rocket. I wish Q's bow was a better bow than it is. The one thing I do like is, for instance, my best bow right now, the best you know bow I've got here is a Utaru make, and then Uryu's downfall is a Karja make. Sun Scourge is a Tanakh make. The Sky Killer is a Tanakh make. The Tinker's Pride is Osra make. Yes, yes, Kali. I do love River Him at night. It's a very beautiful place. But um Well, it's about tree fitty. The the path I was on logically there was I like how Aloy incorporates the best of breed method with respect to what she picks up and that the weapons are not all like there's not all an, a Nora best set or a Tanakh best set. Speaking of, we used a fair amount of spikes there. So let's get those remade. And my point there with the spike thrower was I really didn't care about anything except bringing them down. And the spike thrower is beyond shadow of a doubt. The sky killer with explosive coiling is ridiculously powerful. The one thing that I, I threw there that you maybe saw was the spike trap on the sky killer where you can put a trap down in the ground, much like normal traps, except Aloy does not trigger those when she walks over them. Now, I was a little late in the throw, so they were past it before it could arm, but it is one of those things. All right, so we are traveling back to the mountain, so to effectively the base. I do not want to fast travel. I've only fast traveled once so far in the game, just to kind of facilitate the, the tempo of one hour for an episode to, to close off something, but I do want to end up back here. So we're going to call the Sunwing, get back there, and then proceed on foot. The most dangerous mechanism of mounting in any game video any video game ever. Having the Sunwing claw you onto its back. And that's the path we ran up. Whenever we were approaching the repair bay. Oh, well, Tirsa, <laughs> Tirsa, I, I like. It's the other two great, the other two grand matriarchs that bug me. And if those of you don't know, nor culture, a matriarch is a grandmother. A great matriarch, a grand matriarch is a great grandmother. That's how you achieve that status through generational progeny. Oh, I can't remember the name of the other two matriarchs at this point. But I wouldn't mind more scaring them. All right, we're where we want to be. And 
you can see the markings here of the Tanakh kind of warding that this is the beginning of their territory. And there is a side quest or a rumor person there. Yeah, Avod. Let me take a look at you, stranger. Wow, you're not you're not really that nice, are you? You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. That's true. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, if you're ever in need of a quick refuge, there's an ancient tunnel north of here that machines tend to avoid. I scouted it many times trying to find a way further in, but the way is blocked. Whatever the tin had in there, the tin. they kept it locked away. Thanks for letting me know. The ten. Foundational to. Okay, you won't let me save. Awesome. Foundational to Tanakh religion is a concept known as the ten. You'll hear on the wings of the ten as we travel, and just bear in mind that. Uh, Oh, he doesn't sell the legendary weapons. Bear in mind that that's just part of their religion. Alright, so they outlined a... A camp to our north, which I believe... Well, isn't marked. A cave to our north. There's another cauldron up there that we know about from Gaia, but I believe our first stop is going to be that tall neck. Let's get him unlocked and get a better lay of the land here as we proceed west. Which means we're going to take what I hope is a zip line down. Right over a fire, fire bristle back site. Let's hope they don't see me. I really don't want to fight them. Off we go. Attack suspicious. There's a shelter here, and shelters are useful because shelters have workbenches, so we're going to discover that before we head down. That looks very much like a Vista site. Sixty-nine meters still to that shelter. It's gotta be on the side. Yep, I can see the campfire for it. Well, it worked out pretty well, except for the fact, Sturm, that the biosphere is collapsing, and within about three, four months, there won't be any sustainable life on this planet unless we do something about it. But yeah. Ammo, those we need. We're gonna need them here in just a minute too. We're fine there. What's my advanced hunter arrows? They really in the per in the blue? Interesting. Uh, we're good on that too. Okay, let's get our materials out of the stash. And we'll head down the hill toward that tall neck and figure out what's going on here. Oh, I believe I remember what's down here. Up! Oh. If 
fire bristlebacks are only part of the problem. Looks well, at that that Tanakh settlement. Yeah, I'll take care of it, I guess. We're gonna try. But you can see that the dust storms that roll across here are a problem for Aloy. It doesn't actually hurt her. But it's one of those, it's another piece of environmental storytelling where, you know, Aether is needed to, watch my step. to fix this. You can see the, or hear the storms too. Like that storm back there. That We need Aether to fix that. So hopefully our rite of passage from Vashav is good. Um, nah. We'll, we'll keep walking for now. Trying to stay in this, like, let's not trespass against the Tanakh. They should be challenging me a bit more, in my opinion, but maybe word of what I... Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan Never mind. Lands. I was given rite of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. I did get too close to one. I don't actually want to go inside of Arrowhand here. By the way, playing the game, Arrowhand is hands down one of the best places to buy coils. Some of the, the coils that can be bought, um, the best of them generally are found here, believe it or not. That was their challenge. Good. Now I feel a bit more immersed. So we trundle through the valley here. I almost feel like I should have a Karja outfit for the desert. A little, little horn, horned lizard. But now we are in the clan lands of the desert clan of the Tanakh. couple of what apex fire bristle back and his buddy didn't even flinch We're sneaky. Through the tree. That's a dead vulture. Blighted meat. <coughs> so this right here is the evidence. It's a blighted area of how bad the biosphere is collapsing. <coughs> it is for sure, for sure hurting Aloy here. Very slowly. Never let that stand in the way of loot, though, kids. There's always more medicinal berries. Let's get out of there, though. I'm 
Look at that. Medicinal berries all over the place. Another shelter. And that is Sunspear. Capital of the, the Tanakh Desert Clan. You can see all the old solar arrays on the outside of it, and Sunspear has its problems, which we will we'll deal with down the road. I'm not even going to walk in there right now. I want to establish narratively the relationship with the Tanakh, and waltzing into their cities is not how we're going to do that. I almost feel like Aloy should have almost a cloth over her face type of outfit for walking through the desert. Here we go. Wind's kicking up the sand. That. Sounds bad. Nora, hey, over here. You, Nora. Wrong bow, wrong bow. Yeah, you got it. We will help if help is needed. We're supposed to send Nora fighting the charger. That doesn't mean you can. That should hit a horn. That one did. You guys still shooting at? Oh, there's one down there still. That's the last of the chargers. Let's find out what those Tanakh are doing here. What are these Tanakh doing here? Yeah, yeah. As we loot all of the kills, maybe some of them weren't ours. They won't mind. Yeah, that storm is nasty. Head round to the rock. Remember to clonk, clonk that follow button. Orders. Only they didn't mention the other machines that were standing right behind the rocks. And I didn't order you to sprint into them with your eyes shut. Always expect danger. I'm uh, guessing you're a Tanakh patrol. How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. Wow, rude. Yours. Hatakto, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert to knock. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty and let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the grove, Nora. The Grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. Gaul has broken her duty. Why aren't we bringing her to justice? Because we follow orders. And orders are we stay neutral in this fight. What sort of soldier hides from a fight? It's questions like that. It's an interesting that conversation. All right, this tall neck seems to be locked behind something, and I forget what it was. We're going to go have a look, though. And there's our tall neck. But what is... Let's see. Have, we haven't hit the quest marker for it yet. I think this may be the one that requires the Sunwing. But I'm not sure. If 
but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Because it's showing me a lock icon like it's story locked. Oh, hello. Those are Ravagers. Get rid of both their guns first. Okay, that should have hit. You just hanging out over there? That'll make things easier. It's walking away, that's weird. I'm out of range, probably. Yep. I hate that. It's interesting behavior, though, the fact that he's decided to not hang out and continue to fight. Certainly want to take care of him. I really do think that that is the... He just disappeared on us. He's gone. Well, something's down over there. It stepped on something. Isn't that part of their morphology? Oh, hello, Burrower. You got stepped on, didn't you? The Ravager morphology? To run? Oh, fair enough. Thank you for the, the guidance there, Rocket. So then what we will do is continue our journey west in the next episode. Oh, but look at that boy right there. Let's make that the grand finale of today's show. That Thunderjaw. Let's go have a look at that guy. We will get him and clear our path west. Take out what I looks like an apex. Sure is. Nope. And he's down. That is a good kill. Never touched me. Poof. Have those, those fang horns over there wandering around. Never even got to the disc launchers. And we will have uh, Aloy take a little bit of a, a, a beat here in the tall grass as we bring the recording of this episode to a close and we'll pick up our, our movement west in our next episode as we cannot get that tall neck unlocked thanks to some guidance from chat here. Thank you very much, Rocket. 
So thanks for watching on the YouTube side. We're going to call the episode there, and we'll pick up our march toward Aether and what awaits us in the West in the next one.